welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a quick and easy summer look for you guys. Super oranges, super coral, just a very warm and beautiful summer look. So if you're excited to see how I got this look, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. All right, so we are going to be doing a cute, easy summer eyeshadow look today. I'll probably do like my whole face on camera, but my main focus of the video today is gonna be um, doing a cute little summer look. So I'm not sure if everyone who is subscribed to me on here is on my Instagram. If not, make sure you go ahead and follow the link in my bio and follow me over on Instagram. I do post a lot of questions and things like that. I know I put them here in the community tab, but but I don't really get as much response because I don't know how YouTube really pushes out that kind of stuff. So I put a lot of questions and stuff for my subscribers and whatnot on my Instagram for you guys to kind of interact with me. It gives you guys a chance to uh, give me some insight on like what you want to see, what kind of videos you're interested in and all that stuff. So just make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram. But I went ahead and I posted on Instagram here and I think like YouTube, I don't, I mean on Twitter, I don't remember. I'm going to be doing a lot more makeup tutorials and of course I will throw in hauls and anti-hauls and first impressions for you guys. I might just throw in like new stuff in my makeup tutorials while I'm doing makeup, whether it be a get ready with me and all that. So I know I'm jabbering on, I'm so sorry, I do talk a lot. Um, but today the older palette I'm focusing on is the Soul Palette by ColourPop. This came out, I believe a year or so ago it was it was probably a couple years ago actually like two or three um this is the soul palette came out with the mar one too it was like a bluish one and i think it's super super cute for summertime i don't know if this is still available or not but if it is i would grab it it's 12 dollars, and you get a lot of super cute colors this could be used in the fall this can be used in the summertime anytime really and this just doing I guess makeup tutorials with like palettes we already have and playing around with makeup we already own it's not only good for you guys to like kind of get ideas on how you can use your already owned palettes but it also helps me like use the makeup that I have because I have so much makeup and it's like oh new stuff new stuff new stuff and like the newer stuff that I get the older stuff just kind of gets pushed to the back so before we get started I know I've been talking a lot but there are two things I want to touch base on one my entire chin is breaking out I don't know what's happening it's over here it's over here and number two I have this annoying fly so if you see it in the video just ignore it I don't we're trying to catch it we can't catch it so if you have any advice on how to catch a fly let me know because it's annoying. There's nothing more annoying to me than a freaking fly. I don't know why. But I wanna make it easy for the people who, one, they don't have a lot of time to do like this detailed artwork on your eye and clouds and rainbows. And two, for people who just really are beginning and starting with makeup and they're like, <laughs> Okay, but I don't know how to do that. So basically we're taking it back to basic. So first I'm gonna start off with my eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on my lid. I do have concealer for shaping out my brows, but I don't have it um, for my eyelids. But, so I'm gonna go into the brightest orange in this palette, which is ooh, there's three O's and a star, so I'm not really certain exactly if it's O-O-O or ooh or ah. Oh, I'm not sure. You guys are probably like, Jamie, I get it. You haven't been in here in a week, but I need you to take it all the way down to zero blab. So I'm basically just putting that color all over my lid and you can do this with any palette that has orange and like a peachy light taupey orange and I'm going to show you what that color is for in a minute so basically what I do is I'm not blending this shadow out because this is going to be the main focus of color I will diffuse what's going here so basically you just want to pack all this color on here and now I'm going to take a blending brush clean it off real quick and I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is New Digs, I believe. Yes, New Digs right here, which is kind of just like a lighter orange. If that's still a little too bold for your liking and you wanna kind of dim it down, you can always go in with this yellowy bone color. Also, if you see powder flying, throughout the room, it's because I am working on a TikTok 
and I literally had to blow powder, look at this, all over my phone, and it got everywhere. All right, so I'm just taking that color and I'm literally going right where the line is that I stopped with that dark orange, and I am just blending so it's not so sharp like it's not necessary for this color to be very pigmented so if you want to do even lighter than that bone color you can always go into like a off white or cream color but I just like to do something with a little more warmth to it just so it kind of has a better fade effect if that makes sense you don't want to go too light because then it goes from like orange to like white and I'm going to pat more of that dark color on that we may have lost. And if you wanted to, if you need like super more depth in here, you can always go in with a darker color, but I'm sticking to that. And like, I really love this palette because it doesn't have like a crap ton of fallout. You would think with this pigmented as these colors are that there would be way more fallout than there actually is. So I think that's pretty cool for $12, it's not bad. And this look could totally be achieved, I feel like, with my finger. The blending up here might be a little bit harder, but this part right here, definitely good. So like, if you're in a pinch and you just need to put some color on, Orange is always my go-to for the summer. I don't know why. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go into as I speak with like neon orange nails, but for real. So the next thing I'm gonna go into is just gonna be a topper. And this is Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter by The Pound. And it's um, the Halo Top and ColourPop collab. And I'm literally gonna take my finger and just go in just slightly and dab it all over the lid. So not just the inner corner this time, for this look, we want it just to be shiny. Like it's a pretty beachy summer look. So that's it for the lids. We're gonna move on to the face. So I've already moisturized and all that, put my sunscreen on, did what I needed to do to take care of my skin, even though it's treating me like crap. Put my primer on. And this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer which everyone knows and loves. Okay, so today for foundation, I'm going to be going with my Collab Beauty Bright Spark, and this is the Radiant Foundation from Sally Beauty, which I think it might be a little too light for my skin tone. So I don't really care for how this one smells, but when it comes to like coverage, and the way that it looks on my skin, it's actually really nice. So I am trying a newer technique when it comes to my makeup. Hear me out. Trying to not use so much. So I put it on a lid and then I just dab it out like that and then go into my skin because I'm trying to see if that helps with like the cakey texture that I get going on because I seriously do get a lot of that so bad. So if you look, um, I wish I would not have put so much product on this tin because there's so much being wasted. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our concealer and I'm just gonna be going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in medium. 22. So my husband did my makeup on my last video. Um, you can check it out. I'll put the video in the description. But basically he did this thing with my concealer. So basically he went and like put concealer uh, along my eyebrows the way that I have it now. Um, in a joking manner, obviously, like he has no idea where concealer honestly goes. I mean, he did a really good job with that. That was probably like his best part and now I really enjoy putting my concealer there so okay so I have been using this spray for a little while when it comes to doing my concealer and I am starting to think that it is not good for me to use for that because now that I'm using a different blender it's not patching up like it just was like it was really weird I don't know how to explain it to you guys but it was like patching it up off my skin I am going in with the Kylie Cosmetics translucent powder setting powder and I'm just going to lightly buff that on. If you guys ever wonder why I don't bake, that will be in the video of things that you actually don't have to do 
for your makeup to be flawless. Okay, so I do have a new product in here. I know that I was telling you guys about like not doing hauls or anything that I ordered before I decided to do this. And I wanna use it just to see um, I need blush and bronzer anyways. So this is the new Deck of Scarlet Badass Formulas Good For You Ingredients. I don't think that's what it's called. So it's called the Mistake Mist mist ache proof so basically it is a spray on bronzer and blush I got them in the shade carnal for the bronzer and brazen for the blush and I also got the double-ended brush so the bronzer was 36 the blush is 36 and the double face brush was 32. Um, there were no like deals or anything like that, but I saw it on Instagram and I was just like, hmm, very interesting. Never had a spray bronzer. It's like a spray tan, like airbrush. I don't know. We're gonna try it out because I need bronzer anyways. So to use, shake well and spray onto a brush or makeup sponge and blend into your cheeks. Okay, so we're gonna go with bronzer first. I'm gonna shake it. Okay, and then we're gonna use a brush. It's a $32 brush. I think it's a bit pricey, but who's to say? You don't know, you never know. So you try it. Okay, so it's kind of like thin. Um, this is gonna be for the blush and this is gonna be for my bronzer. So this brush is pretty expensive, but the hairs on my hourglass brush feel like way better than these. This kind of feels cheap. Okay, we got, oh, it got all over my hand. Okay, let's do this over top something because I feel like this is gonna be messy. So it is a little messy. It's getting all over my fingernails and my fingers, so that's kind of gross. But let's try and see. Ooh, okay, maybe I sprayed too much. Um, I will tell you, I don't mind the brush, but I think I put enough bronzer on it for my entire face, possibly. Okay, so I went off camera and actually reapplied some foundation. I mean, maybe it was my fault. I put way too much on, I only put a squirt or two on, so it's kind of weird that I did that, but okay. We'll just, we'll go with that. That came off so brown. Okay, so it's not bad. I don't mind that. It's not the worst, but it's definitely something you gotta get used to. Go in with the blush. And I'm just gonna, it feels like there's oil in it and that oil is trying to break down my makeup. Okay, the brush, the blush isn't so bad. So what I decided to do was put it on my hand and go from there. I don't know what's in it, but it is very liquidy and oily feeling that if you're not careful, it could potentially break down the powder and foundation you've put down. So I'm gonna definitely have to keep trying with that um, product. I think it's just something you have to kind of get used to using, but as a first impression, like, <laughs> That stuff got everywhere. It does look really pretty and not much is needed, that's for sure. So I'm using the Laura Lee Los Angeles Loose Setting or Loose Highlighter and this is in Sugar and Spice. I am super excited because today she announced that she is launching makeup brushes this Friday and I'm super excited to try them because they're not like stock brushes. Like she literally crafted them on her own and I'm so excited for that. Okay, so I'm gonna put my lashes on and then I'll be right back. So for my under eye, I'm gonna go in with that same dark bright orange color, dark bright, that bright orange color that I put on my lid and I'm gonna give it a little shimmy. So I definitely, now that I've let this sit, I think that if I didn't go so hard with that new, like the Deca Scarlet spray bronzer and blush, I think that it would have turned out a lot better. Um, I'm gonna keep trying. Next time I'm gonna try it. I obviously won't be on camera, but next time I'm gonna try it with um, a beauty blender and just kind of see how that does, if it does better. Um, the brush isn't my favorite, but I feel like I would really be doing a disservice if I just kind of did a quick, oh, 
I don't like it um, since this is not like a first impression so I really couldn't take my time to play with it uh, so definitely stay tuned check out my Instagram it's usually when I update like whether I hate it or like something after I used it for a while so now I'm gonna go in for my inner corner I'm going to be using my Morphe M431 and it's the first time I've even set a brush um, it's a pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with this shimmery champagne color here just to put a little pop of shimmer where it belongs in the inner eye so I'm going in with the Chi Chi by ColourPop it is a lip liner I love their lip liners and they're so inexpensive like they are so inexpensive I think I own like over 50 and then the lippy I'm using today, it's actually another new item to my collection. It's not new though on the market. Um, this is Spicy Liquid Lipstick. It is from the Coral Crush or Crush Coral Collection from ABH. Uh, they have like a deal, um, like a discount. And I think it was on Ulta now. I don't know, they had a discounted thing and I got four of them. And they're all in like the corally orange family and that's it that's that's the look it's like super easy to do a look like this and orange seems to be like my go-to summer look um even with like my nails my toes so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it make sure you give it a big thumbs up that always helps me out and i will see you on the next one